Uh, this is where your uh, lock goes for your uh, top dead. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Obviously, there's not enough room to get that out. And welcome back to the short block replacement on my 1.5 liter EcoBoost. You, doity. All right, so to get this job done, you need some timing tools. And I got this from Jing Wong Amazon. But this is for this engine. You got your cam lock, cam bridge, or the cam phaser lock, cam bridge, flywheel stop. Uh, one of these is the engine stop, I think. Um, anyways, so then the uh, crank alignment tool or whatever it is. Uh, actually, I think that's cam stop. Anyways, got this tool on here on Amazon. That was like 25 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna see if it works. Here in a little bit, I'll show you what it looks like to have all these tools properly put in place. There we go. Just like that. Okay, so where we're at, so we've got this piece locked all the way in. My cam timing tools are in. I have this piece out here, this these two pieces line up and this pin goes in here. Okay, so right here I gotta take off this auxiliary water. Comes right off there, that's good. So in order to get this out of there, this hose goes behind the oil cooler hose. I'm trying to get off there is some kind of pump. I can't tell if that's part of it. No, it's not. Holy Lord. This goes around the front of the trans. This Cambridge in, or Cambridge, I keep saying Cambridge. The starter bridge to lock this up, you need to use the longer one uh, for this setup. So, there we go. Okay, I got a couple important things to notate here. I've got some position sensors. I believe this is uh, cam phasers. They are different part numbers on them, so I marked them with the front and a rear. A front and a rear and then up here I've got my cam position sensors I took them out and I also labeled them front and rear and interestingly enough when I took my ECM off I had a wet oil plug and I think I found it because this inside this plug is completely soaked in oil so I'm gonna have to get a new sensor because it probably pushed oil all the way down the harness into the ECM I'll double check that See it right there. 
Okay, so here's a part where I cannot find a single video, write up anything on how the injectors actually come out of the hole. So I'm gonna see if we can get a first here. This is the part that everybody skips on every single video that shows uh, the uh, rebuild or removal of injectors. They don't actually show you taking the injectors out. And from what I understand, these are press fit. So you're gonna find out with me today if uh, <laughs> this is reasonable to do. I have to cost myself a whole bunch of money because Freaking engines already cost me a whole bunch of money. Oh, God dang it, that hurt. Pinch my finger over here. Thanks for tuning into my video. If you wouldn't mind, please go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and comment, and hit that notification bell. Appreciate it. Okay. So, if I did this right, which I don't think I did. One injector came out out of all of them. <laughs> oh, great, okay. All the rest of them stayed in the little clips. Okay, so that's how you do it. You'll push down right here with a screwdriver and just pull up on the wires. The wires are tough. They break, there was already something wrong. There we go. Now we're making some pro progress. I had one injector that actually came out the way it was supposed to. Uh, the other one stayed in in the clips. These clips came undone from the injector. So I'll have to Deal with that later. I'm pretty sure this vapor dealy on the back here has got to come off. So it looks like it overlaps the cam a tiny bit. Battery's almost dead on this thing. One bar left. So I'm gonna vacuum pump. It's gotta come off anyways because you have to put the cam bridge in there later. All right, so the cam caps, uh, you do have to take, you do have to take this pump off right here. Um, and then these cam caps, they're glued on, they're really good. So you do have to hit them uh, a little bit. I broke a little uh, casting flash piece of ear off of it. Don't pry on them, just uh, wrap on them a little bit. Same thing with the cam caps over here. Uh, so now I'm gonna, Undo the cams, get them out, and I'm ready to take the head off, I believe. Okay, got the camshafts off. Um, I'm ready to pull the head out now. Now, on the camshafts, they were nice enough to label them. One, two, three, four, and A, B, C, D, from the front to the rear, or sorry, I should say uh, crank to flywheel, crank to flywheel. Uh, I marked white paint on the front stuff and I labeled uh, F on this for the front uh, cam phaser. And I did put some white paint on the front camshaft. I'm not sure if there's a difference in them. I don't want to find out. So I just went ahead and easily labeled, labeled them. So fr uh, front, back, as far as uh, headlights to trunk, uh, crank to flywheel, crank to flywheel. So I got that straight. Now we're ready to pull the head off. Okay, so got the uh, head off. Definitely signs of uh, coolant intrusion. And we come over here. After I pop the head off, what's in there? Freaking coolant. Number three, that's the one I had my misfire on. 
So yeah, sure as shit. And then here's the here's the the dumbass design in this. So the head gasket you can see already has the coolant port to cool the head. So it sits on here like this, and the coolant comes up through this slit, comes up into that slit all the way across, and then enters up here into the head. And you can see that basically they eliminate the ability of all the sealing surface in here by doing this. When on the when you see the new block, I believe it's uh, right here still, and they basically cross port drill it right there, just to go into the head. What a dumb, dumb, dumb design. You basically cut your ceiling surface completely in half and you're asking this teeny tiny little bridge to hold back uh you know boost so anyways <sighs> i am 60 percent done <laughs> maybe 50 and then while it's off i will swap over these items that are still attached because obviously they can be there in this orientation put it back on and then I can build it back up from there. So anyways, All right here's a pretty good stopping point. When we come back, we'll be taking the block out and swapping over the new one. Thanks for watching.